Good morning, what is going on folks? I am here in Oceanside, it is race week, it is Friday. Tomorrow is 70.3 Oceanside, it is raining outside. I've been up for a couple hours editing this video. And in just a little while, I am now dressed. We are going out for a shakeout run. We'll see how many people show up for the shakeout run in the rain, but we're gonna go downtown, meet at the village, do a, I'm gonna do a six mile run. Some folks are going to do maybe a 5K or just a couple of miles, just something nice and easy. I'm not running tomorrow, I'm just riding. So I think I'm gonna get six miles and actually do one full loop of the run course. The rain has stopped for now, it is sunny. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much more later today. Maybe in a couple of hours I said it might rain. Hopefully not too bad. You haven't seen it yet, but you were dancing in the video. Was I? Because oh, <laughs> it's not up yet. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the earthquake that happened in New Jersey? It was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. It was like legitimate. People felt it in Boston. So you come to California and the earthquakes. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Who's that girl I'm following? Who's that girl I'm stalking? <laughs> How are you? You're on the way to deliver donuts, obviously. Yeah, yeah obviously, obviously. Hey, hey, I gotta put you in the video. The <laughs> best race director you. ever. Thank you. All right, starting the run. We're running one loop of the course. I feel like I'm overdressed. <laughs> we'll see. Overdressed. Sweatshirt, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but uh, how are you feeling for racing? Uh, I think I, I'm ready. Uh, I'm fit. All right. Just ready to Travel was good? Yeah. yeah sweet. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Awesome, man. Well, have a great race. Thank you. All right, we'll be sure for you, bud. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the hotel, about to head to transition, just put all the stickers on the bike. Gonna walk down there because the hotel is really close to the harbor. Gonna meet up with some of the OCE folks that are doing the full event. Austin and Charlene are down here. And then after that, we'll grab some lunch. Wanna... Alright, I'll be like, oh God. Climb this hill again. Day one of three of driving. Should have rented a hotel. I a... should have. I should have. But you know, we're going to race more. Yes. Less hotels, more racing. Found Austin, one of my co-hosts of the OC Endurance Podcast. We still do that? Uh, every so often. Okay, yeah. Spur of the moment thing. This week I did not. I bailed. And so did Tony. <laughs> so, how you feeling? You know, another day. Another day? I'm not going to read too much into it. We're just going to go get out there and go hard tomorrow. And if I die, I die. How many miles did you run last weekend? In total? Well, well your, your your run, your birthday. Is it tomorrow your birthday? Yeah, Sunday is my birthday. Sunday, Sunday. Two days from now is his birthday. And how old are you going to be, 27? Um, yep, yep. I'm going to be 27 for the uh, eighth year in a row. Okay, so yeah. you're going to be 35, 34? I'm going to be 35. 35, such a young mother. Uh, 
Ah, young brother. That's all relative. Yeah, yeah. And uh, last weekend, That's right. he just went out for a 35 mile run to celebrate his birthday. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you should have come out, man. A week before the race, I'm just going to do a 35 mile run. Run. I know. I, 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 you ran in the rain, dude. Wind, rain. It was actually really nice the later part of the day. So it was not great at the early part, really nice at the end of the day. Well, the bike is racked. They are requesting that everybody rack by the front of their bike. So you have two points of contact with the brakes. Had to pull my aero bottle off because I can't rack on the front that way. So I'll bring my aero bottle tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit windy tonight. So they're doing that just as a precaution to make sure bikes don't fall off. And then tomorrow morning, we can flip them around. Well, I met up with the OCE relay team for lunch. Now we're back downtown to go to dinner with the Synergy crew. Good morning. It is finally race morning and people are gathering around. They're getting in their cars, headed out to the race. We are about to walk down. Luckily, our hotel is pretty close to the transition area. So we're about to head down to transition, even though I don't start for till probably close to 7.45. She won't start till close to 10.30 probably. We are still gonna head down. We're gonna support Eric when he gets in the water, get into transition, wish some people some good luck, and then hang out until it's our turn. And I was like, oh my gosh, we get dressed. <laughs> I mean, we have like a lot of standing around until the swim starts. I was like, I'm gonna get like a four mile walk in before I even start running. You know? I was like, they're like even nice and in person. Yes. So you haven't done a triathlon yet. No. Oh, all right. Well, this is gonna this is gonna do you in. All right. <laughs> it's hard to not watch one of these and not get motivated. All right, well, the swimmers are lining up. It is really strange to be here, see everybody's nervous energy and not actually be, sorry, not actually be getting ready for the swim. I was just teasing that I don't think I'm ever going to actually do the swim bike run again. I'm just going to do, just do relays from now on. I feel it. I do. 
Way to go, man. You did it. I'm very tired. There's wine waiting for you at the finish line. <laughs> Fourth, it depends. Um, awesome. Emma was um, disqualified, which is appealing it because of the speed zone issue. But I hope it goes through that she can appeal that. Yeah. So. Well, we'll see how it so, shakes down. Yeah, so I'm very happy with it. It was a really awesome. good start to the season. Yeah. Sweet. Good to see you. Look at that man. <laughs> Look at that man. Us chasing you on the bike the whole time. You look a little scared. Daddy. Daddy. I hear you a little bit. Park. Yeah. <laughs> I not see anything. <laughs> Whoever was leading the group kept sitting up, and everybody was like, where the fuck are we going? Because you couldn't see anything. And so then, all of a sudden, I was leading the group, and I was like, I can't see anything. And I was like, I hope I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> I got off that bike, I was like, there's no way in hell I can run right now. It was really uh, hot. Think so? It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a little nice today. It was like... Well, I am headed home for the race, trying to get through traffic. Unfortunately, my youngest daughter has got some sort of bug. So she will not be able to go to the Angels game because tonight both my daughters were participating in the Angels baseball game tonight. My youngest was walking because they sold a thousand Girl Scout cookies and my oldest was not going to do the walk, but she did sell a thousand. She is actually singing before the game, but now my youngest will not be going. My mom is coming to stay with her. She had 104 temperature this morning. She is not feeling very good. She went to urgent care. So my wife is a champ because there were lots of projectile stuff in all directions. So she is a champ and I felt really bad. She actually hid it from me so that I didn't know, so that I wasn't going to be concerned or worried at the race, feel pressured. So uh, hats off to her. I mean, uh, uh, although she knows I don't do very good with vomit, so. <sighs> But now I am dealing with some traffic. It is currently 1.57. GPS says I will be home by three o'clock, which would be amazing because we need to get on the road for the game by four o'clock. I think we'll only go to the game, let Emily do her thing, stay for a few innings, socialize with uh, a bunch of the other families and kids. It's also a fundraiser night for the elementary school that my girls go to. So there are a bunch of us going to be there, but we won't be there long. So I will do a little bit of a race recap tomorrow. It is Sunday morning, I am home. We had a great time at the Angels game last night. Ended up leaving a little bit early, everyone was tired. My daughter sang the national anthem and had a great time, it was really fun. And today I am just cleaning up. Unfortunately, my wife woke up with the same thing my youngest had 48 hours ago, I guess now. So she is feeling horrible, uh, really bad. 
stomach bug that my daughter had. So luckily last night, my youngest was staying with my mom. She did start to eat a little bit. She had a little rice but was still so wiped out and uh, is still passed out this morning. Tried to sleep in a little bit this morning, made it to about 5.30, but you know, with uh, Christina being sick, she started getting up and down a lot. So now she is settled at the moment and I am going to unpack the car. I backed in last night, pulled like one or two bags out, left everything in the car. The bike is pretty dirty because there were a few mud puddles. Some one was really deep uh, on the course. So I'm gonna clean the bike up, get everything unpacked, do some laundry. And today's just a relaxing day. Hopefully Christina doesn't take it as bad as my daughter did. And I'm gonna try to avoid getting it. Now that this is passed and I am feeling better from when I was sick just a week ago, full focus on Moro Bay 70.3 on May, I think it's 17th. I think it's May 17th. I'm gonna get all this stuff unloaded, cleaned up, and then I'll talk a little bit about how the race went. 